Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University, and I'm going to explain 10 things about Aquaman in about a minute. Aquaman's first appearance was in More Fun Comics number 73 in November of 1941, and he was created by Mort Weisinger and Paul Norris. Arthur Curry is the son of a humble lighthouse operator and the Queen of Atlantis. Atlanta was of royal blood, but was banished for her overzealous curiosity of the surface world. Tom Curry was captaining a ship during a storm and came upon Atlanta, rescuing her. The two married, and Tom took to manning a lighthouse in the remote Amnesty Bay, where they had a son they named Arthur, with the Atlantean name of Orin. Arthur demonstrated many unusual abilities, like amplified physical attributes, hyper-swimming, and the ability to breathe air and water. All of these abilities stem from his mother's Atlantean origins. When she died, Tom and Arthur were devastated. After her mourning, they discovered that Arthur could command sea life. Tom mostly homeschooled Arthur and trained him to control his powers. In one narration, this included eliciting the help of a marine biologist, Dr. Stefan Shin. On land, Arthur can press approximately 60 tons, and he can survive in the deepest trenches. He is less durable versus piercing objects, though resilient enough to only bleed a little from a gunshot at point-blank range. While not as fast as Wolverine's, he has a regeneration factor that is thorough enough to completely regrow a hand or his brain. He has enhanced senses of sight and hearing and can leap up to four stories on land. Due to his Atlantean training, he has demonstrated the ability to hold his own against Amazonians, and while immersed in the seas, he is more than a match for any Kryptonian. His most noted ability is his sea life communication, but this requires a broader understanding. While plant controlling characters like Swamp Thing and Poison Ivy can access the green, and animal controlling characters like Animal Man can access the red, Aquaman accesses the clear, allowing him to exert telepathic control over sea life and simple reptiles. These animals don't have enough reason to understand the complexities of speech, but Arthur can control the creatures to do his bidding. His powers can actually reach higher intelligences, like humans and even the White Martians, and he can probe or control sentient minds, though he mostly refrains from such invasive practices. Aquaman has been published consistently since the Golden Age of Comics, and he's remained interesting for the entire length by never remaining static. And that's 10 Things About Aquaman in about a minute.